Hello and welcome back to Indulge with Sophie. For those of you that already know me and those of you that don't, my name is Sophie and this is my show, Indulge with Sophie. Today we're going to be making a berry trifle. Typically this would be a sherry trifle that's from England, my mom used to make, but today we're going to make it the American way. And it's much easier. So you're going to need some milk. You can have an assortment of berries. You could just do strawberries or strawberries and blueberries. I chose to do both, also some raspberries. We have a can of sweetened condensed milk, some cream cheese, sugar, French vanilla pudding mix, heavy whipping cream, and some mandolins. You can also use angel cake or pound cake. It's up to you. First, we're going to prepare the berries. I'll start with cutting up the strawberries. I'm just gonna cut off the top and then cut into some thin slices like so, so they look really pretty when you place them on. So my mom would make the English version of this and I remember seeing it at my birthday party. She would make this for parties. And I remember on my third birthday, being late for my birthday party, because my mom took me to get photos taken for my birthday, because she thought that the photos had to be taken exactly on my birthday to be birthday photos. So this is an easy no-bake recipe. I love things that I don't have to use the oven. So anyone can do this. You don't have to be a professional. And I'm going to chop up all of the strawberries because I not only want them within the layers, but I want to decorate the top nicely with them. Okay, now that you have your strawberries nicely sliced, you're going to pour a generous amount of sugar onto the strawberries so it can absorb into the strawberries juices. And be really nice when we layer our trifle. So once you've made sure that your strawberries are evenly coated, we can set them to the side. Okay, now we're going to make our custard part of our trifle, which we're going to use a French vanilla pudding mix. So one box of that mixed with two cups of milk. You can use any kind of milk. I just happen to have lactate. And we're going to use our mixer and just whisk it for about two minutes until it's a nice thick consistency. Okay, now we're going to mix our cream cheese and our sweetened condensed milk together. Okay, now we're going to whisk it together. Now that we've got that to a nice creamy consistency, we're going to add our pudding mixture, which is thickened up nicely, into the bowl. And then we're going to whisk the two together. And now that we've blended the two together, we'll set this aside. All right, next we're going to do two cups of heavy whipping cream. Okay, we're gonna whisk our heavy whipping cream till it turns into a nice thick whipped cream. And then you want to keep mixing until you have a nice consistency like this. 
All right, once you've whipped it up to this nice, thick, creamy consistency, now we can sit it aside and start building our berry trifle. Now is the time to get out your mandolines and let's put a few on the bottom. Next, I'm going to start layering my berries, starting with some strawberries. And then I'll get some raspberries. Some blueberries. And then we'll start putting on our custard. And then we'll put some more berries. Make sure to leave some left over to put on the top. Same with the raspberries. And the blueberries. Sometimes it's nice to have a dessert that's got fresh fruit in it. And a lot of times so many desserts are very, very sweet and this gives you some fresh fruit. Next, another layer of the custard. Now you can use the rest of it. Make sure you use your rubber spatula to get every last bit out. Okay, last we're going to put our freshly made whipped cream on top. And I chose not to add any sugar to this whipped cream just because we already have a lot of sweetness going on. And then we can put the rest of our strawberries and berries on top. I think I want to do some blueberries on the outside. And then put our last raspberries around. And then put the strawberries in. And this is when you can get creative and do whatever design your heart desires. And there we have our berry trifle. Look how pretty that looks. You can see the layers on the side. Thank you for joining me and helping me make this beautiful berry trifle. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you would like me to make next time. Thank you again, and I can't wait to see you next time.